my God. Ta-da. No audio. Hi. We're back. Better? Yeah. Something? Now? Oh, Lord. Oh, no Lord. Oh, no Lord. No sound, boys. <laughs> read lips. Read lips. Yeah, learn how to read, read my lips. Read lips. Hold on, I think, my, I think we're back. Well, it's we're delayed. Back. It's yeah, my stream immediately played an ad. Lol. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. See, there it is. Back to those super chats, Augustine. Back to, <laughs> back to the chats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is kind of a big one. Uh -huh. Alex Opio asks, "Hey guys, hope you're having a great night. Thank you. It's much better now that Adam fixed the stream. Yeah. Um, random, but would love to see you guys pitch how you'd recreate your own MCU or DCU. Much love." I think we've had this conversation quite often before. Yeah. That's the most ambitious. I love I love the enthusiasm, but yeah. those questions are like, yeah. hey, guys, just want to know what your take on would be <laughs> on the most massive and expansive and ambitious <laughs> shared universe. Tell us real quick. I think the best like, idea. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if you came up with it or if you came up with it, but having the DC DCEU restart like the MCU did with Batman. It's re yeah. kind of restarting just and rebooting follow. the whole. Instead Basically of Iron Man, it's Batman. The MCU, instead of Iron yeah. Man, it's Batman. The main right, Avengers right, doing right. the whole thing. That's what you're and then going to the Justice well, League. Well, him and I used to make the joke because there was a day I was. We should, uh, still, we should still do that video. We Well, we recorded it in the car, and I don't know where that recording is. Oh. <sighs> but we were driving, oh. I think, to Comic Con one year or something. Oh, no, it was to the Anaheim Convention, I think, when we did WonderCon that first year oh, together. Yeah, and I got way too drunk. Yeah, and we had a conversation. Yeah, well, we had a conversation <laughs> on the way there, so we were sober. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I recorded, and I want to find it but yeah. it was a conversation that we were having we're like what if everything was just flipped yep. yeah and in 2008 right. john favreau directed batman right. or batman begins exactly no just called no, no, batman just batman yeah. yeah and did we even say like that Thor it would be was like the that superman it, movie. that it would be like yeah. robert downey jr playing bruce wayne yeah, yeah, yeah exactly but directed no, by john it was favreau Christian ba i think we fought we everything okay okay but then but then in that same year instead of 2008 the incredible hulk it was like the outrageous Aquaman or something, something like, like that. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was still. So we Momoa. literally, like, we literally just like flipped everything, yeah. and it was like mm -hmm. Thor was Superman, Iron Man was Batman. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe um, Incredible Hulk was I Aquaman think, or something. I think Thor was Wonder Woman. A Wonder Cap Woman. Cap was Superman. Cap was Superman. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was like Superman the first. And then Justice in 2012, it was the Justice League movie, right? Instead of the Avengers. Yeah. 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 And Senator says, if stuff were flipped, I'd probably be a DC fan. LOL. Yeah, dude. Of I'm course. still a DC fan. Sure, I love yeah. I but love the DC animated universe. But there are totally. people who didn't grow up with that the way right. we did. Right. Yeah. So they've just been seeing these movies, and they go to see Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man. And they're yeah. like, "This is great." And then they go to see Henry Cavill Superman. And they're like, "I don't this like this as much." Yeah. Yeah. Is this what DC has to offer? Yeah, Jay, you're true. correct. We need a separate 14 hour stream for all their pitches. <laughs> That's very true because um, we did Phase One, yeah. Two, and yeah. Three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> up yeah. to that, yeah, that point. Yeah, now there'd be Phase Four, Phase Five. Exactly. 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 Someone someone asked if we've seen Star Wars: The Bad Batch. We haven't seen season three, the final season. Season, but yeah. we do have our reactions for season one and, one and two. two on Patreon. Yes, yep, yep, absolutely. Yep. That's when you get back and we get back from out of town. Yes, we'll, we'll, we're adding the Bad Batch to yeah. our and Avatar: The Last list. Airbender. Yeah, we'll be. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're going to be a little bit late with some of the reactions, y'all. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> busy. Oh, we should man. probably tell. Yeah, so he's not going to be here for the next two weeks. Yeah, I won't be. <laughs> yeah, he's going on a vacation. I won't be here for the next two weeks. Yeah, going to be in Europe. I think you and I will be... still do a live stream. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll have a guest. I don't know. Maybe should. I think you guys should still have a live stream. Okay. And I'll join from wherever I am. Sick. Pop Who, in. Is anybody like in Spain that can tell me what time it is out there? Because yeah, what time is it in España yeah. right now? Are they seven hours ahead? Actually, no, they're eight I hours. Could, they're I could Google hours. that right now. That's true. We have. A... Yeah, do you want to share where you're going? <laughs> Unless you don't want to be found. Uh, in Spain. Uh, right now, the time in Spain is. <laughs> Smallville rewatch. <laughs> Brother. Dude, I would love to do it at some point. Yeah, that'd be great. It would be, yeah. We actually were just. So we just. we. Have officially oh. finished X Men the animated series. No, oh no, we still have four, five, four, five more episodes ago. left. It's four a.m. in Spain. Yeah, no, I, yeah I ain't joining the live stream. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I ain't joining the live stream. Sorry, uh, we have five uh, episodes left of X Men the animated series, and then we were talking. We we're like, if we wanted to do another show of this scale or this yes. type, another animated show, would we want to stick with Marvel and maybe do Spider Man, or would we want to go to DC? We haven't fully decided yet. I think for my my pitch, I was like, I think I'd want to go to DC. No, I think we all agreed. I oh, think okay. Because the the I don't want to speak for everybody. The momentum was because we were just talking about kind of how fun it was to power through yeah. some X Men. Yeah, yeah, it was. Over yeah. the past few months to try to catch up before X Men '97 mm -hmm. comes out. Yeah. So I was like, okay, 
X Men that cartoon show technically existed in something called the Marvel Animated Universe, right. mm-hmm. which included the '90s Spider Man cartoon and a bunch of other cartoons nobody yeah. remembers, like Fantastic Four, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man had that one. Iron Man one. Have you Spider Man Unlimited? Have you like, seen the theme song to the yeah. Iron Man show? Yeah, it's we bad. watched it's like, it at some point. It's somewhere. like the manliest, yeah. like weirdest. <laughs> Wasn't yeah. it called like the Superior <laughs> Iron Man or something? something no, like that. you're thinking of a CG animated show. This uh, is from okay. like 1994. Oh, no, there's another okay. one. It yeah. looks like it looks like it's animated by the same people who did the. Spider-Man show. Spider-Man. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the X-Men show. Yes. Yeah. But then there's also, from that same era, the DC animated universe. Right. Batman, yeah. the animated series. is. I think Batman is as beloved or more than the X-Men show. Mm-hmm. So it's the thing of like, well, do we keep going and doing the 90s Spider-Man cartoon, which has yeah. also had like five seasons and had these long story arcs, or do we pivot and go, yeah, see, 90s Iron Man is wild, or do <laughs> yeah. we pivot and go uh, B-Taz, dude. I would love to do BT. I'd love to do some Ninja Turtles series. Yeah. Aisha, I agree with that. That'd be awesome. I would love to watch everything cool. Yeah. My Adventures of Superman. <laughs> Fats on our list, too. Dang it. <laughs> There's a lot. <sighs> Dang it. It's a huge If we were a list. kitchen, we'd be on fire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we really would. There's, There's so, so many much burners. shit going on. So many burners, back yeah. burners, back, back, back burners. I mean, uh, there, there, I think there might be a couple of things that are not even on Patreon yet. Yeah, there's oh, a few things that are I think yes. I am Groot. We have yes. a whole Lord of Lord of the Rings reactions. No, those are on Patreon. Oh, those are on Patreon. Uh, oh, okay. Not on YouTube. Not on YouTube yeah. yet. Right. Not okay. Yet. Okay. Oh boy, am I have to update that list? <laughs> no, <laughs> stop. don't touch your list. That's, that, this is kind of our that little list I have is just like a recent, little a recent fresh. Are you yeah. fucking kidding me? Yeah, you should see my you should see my Excel doc. It's <laughs> massive. It's ridiculous. It's massive. I have like buttons that tell me what's active, yep. what's ongoing, yep. what's done, yeah. what's in editorial. Yeah. Oh my yeah, it's crazy. We might Lord. have to uh, branch out and try to get some additional editors yeah, to, help us, to help something. us. Um, well, okay. We did, this, we this did, super didn't, we, chat. didn't we do Star Wars Vision we Season 2? We, we did. We did. We did. Yeah, we, did. we do have that's it. On, yeah. That's on Patreon. No, I don't it's think it is. It's not on Patreon yet. What? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. There's a lot of stuff, y'all. Lots of burners. Wow. Oh, my okay, God. Okay, so here's one that goes, a super chat that goes oh, along with our you, thank conversation. You. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, did y'all see the pitch concept for the Batman Beyond animated yes. film? Yes, yeah. yes. Massive fan of the original series, and I'm wondering if there will ever be a new movie slash show. That was by Sleepy Luca that donated $20. Thank you. 1999. Thank uh, you so much. I believe that the folks who shared that concept art ended up working on Into the Spider-Verse, if I'm mm. I remember or correctly. They weren't, or didn't they the work on Spider-Verse, and then they They've recently pitched it to Warner Brothers. I think it was the other way around. They, I'm not they sure. worked on the Spider Verse movies. They're animators or board artists or something, and then they have been trying to. They've been pitching it at Warner's Animation, mm-hmm. and one of the tweets I saw started with like that started this pitch, and the person we were pitching to was like, "We just want to let you guys know we cannot do. We're not doing a Batman Beyond mm-hmm. animated thing." Yeah. But Please go ahead with your pitch. Yeah. And then by the end of the pitch, it turned into a maybe. Oh, that's yeah. how good that's the pitch how was. solid it was. And huh? then I, I and from last I heard, they're trying to um get to basically James Gunn because yeah. it's he's the sort of head yeah. honcho creative yeah. of the DC direction. Yeah. Uh Langley, sick in the hospital. But as always, your channel is a great distraction away from hey, the pain. Hey, Langley, get better. Get better. Been watching Langley's, crazy. Watching. Langley's been around for General a long really time. long time. Yeah. Thank so you, Langley. That's we, that. That's really nice. We recognize you. So we see you, homie. That's I hope awesome. you get better. Yeah. Um, so thank you. Anyway, I I have uh, back to the Batman Beyond thing. I have mixed feelings about it, mm-hmm. but I do love the artistry that I sh- saw. I'm not uh, not discounting how badass that looked. I think yeah. it looked great. I think it fits so, perfectly. Yes, it for fits sure. perfectly for sure, for with, sure. that, yeah. with that style. Yeah. I I, ha- I would have an issue if they fit that style onto something that didn't feel appropriate for, for that sure. style. Mm. For sure. Like, did you see that there is a NBA thing that they're doing? I, oh. I did. Oh, yeah. my God. God. Thing. But oh I didn't my even see God. it. I know. Horrible. I didn't even see it. It looks AI thing. horrible. Yeah. It looks like yeah. garbage. Negative yeah. PS1 graphics. Oh my God. <laughs> PS negative one. Like, That's what it looks Tetris like. Textures from 85. Oh my better. God. It looks ooh, horrible. It's so bad. horrible. Damn. Yeah. I mean, I I know that DC's in this weird place right now yeah. where yeah. there's a lot of conversations, I think, between fans. Is the Elseworlds brand going to going to right. continue? Right. Or right. Or is right. it going to be shuttered once the DC Universe movies start coming out? Right. Like, will the Batman Part Two be the last of the Batman movie? Yeah. Right. Or will they continue making more of those? Joker, will <sighs> the fully new be the last I one? I guess this this musical will tell yeah. if things will continue oh, or not. I, <laughs> I I think, in my opinion, and what's my opinion worth, but Ryan, we're out of burners, brother. We can't add <laughs> Mighty Morphin Power Rangers to that. Oh, dude, I would I do would seasons love one and two. <laughs> <Morphin Power Rangers. laughs> 
Avengers. I think you can fit in season Never one and two. On. Never mind. I said correct. Do the Never movie. mind. Never mind. Oh yeah, we got to do the movie. I guess. I guess these guys would want to do it. Adam, Adam, you were talking about DC. You were talking. You were talking about your take. What was your What was your view on this? Well. The only, and I won't even give them credit for it because it wasn't even their idea, but I think that when it comes to live action animation, I think mm -hmm. it's totally okay for Batman Beyond, because they were pitching it as an animated movie. Right, right. I think it's totally okay for there to be like an Elseworld animated yeah. universe, yeah. even if it's just the one Batman Beyond movie that is like a really cool, modernized, very visually sure. compelling take on the Terry McGinnis Batman story. Mm -hmm. And I would, and maybe if you were, trying to do a trilogy or maybe just one movie or whatever mm -hmm. just tell a really good solid story that um yeah just kind of redoes the origin in a more modern way and mm -hmm. now knowing what you know about terry mcginnis after the shows and the comic books and stuff now you can really take all of that data mm -hmm. and make one really cool cohesive story yeah. and then if it yeah, does really well then right. make another one i think you're right i i i agree uh, my only trepidation the only reason i have mixed feelings is because uh, all right, homies, off to watch Love is Blind with the Misses. Have a good night. Bye, Ben. Benjamin, Bye, ben. you lost Bye, me in the ben. first half, but you had me in the second half. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you added with the Misses, I was like, all right, all respect. Right, I, respect. Right, I get cool, it. Cool, I get cool, it. Cool, I get cool, it. Cool. Um, but uh, my, my trepidation would be, yes, what you said should be what they should be using animation for. Yeah. But what if they go to James Gunn and James is like, listen, I'm trying to cast an actor to play Bruce Wayne in this upcoming live action Batman movie. And I'm trying to get that actor in some old age makeup immediately to play old Bruce Wayne and do a live action Batman Beyond. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the, the reason I love Batman Beyond and I feel like when people talk about it, it, it tends to get like missed in all of the cool details mm -hmm. about Batman right. Beyond is that it was Kevin Conroy. Conroy. Mm -hmm. It was a continuation of what right. had come before. So yeah. I think that doing Batman Beyond separately by itself would be dope. But one cool thing is like, yeah, but if you can set up a good DC Universe franchise mm -hmm. to have the capability to do uh, the same actor playing an mm -hmm. older Batman storyline and 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 set up your neo Gotham and your future Gotham, but it's supposed to be the based same off of based you know based off of what you're establishing in the in the present, I think that could be incredible because the way that it broke it blew my mind when I was watching Batman Beyond in 1999 because I was like. Oh my God! This is how Batman ends. This is how Bruce Wayne retires because mm -hmm. he's forced to pick up a gun, and it's just like not a new Batman. Right. It's the, the it's Batman. the guy from BTAS. It's yeah. the guy. So that broke my brain. That um, yeah, but like, what what that's what DC animation should be for, not for like DC uh, lead League of Super Pets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, but it's right? true. Lego it's, Batman, it's, yes, it's, oh, correct. God. Yes, Lego Batman yes. is a masterpiece. Here's the thing, you know, I don't think the big wigs up there can yeah. tell the difference. I know. And then and that's, that's a the huge problem. problem. And that's the problem. That's the big, so big problem. So hopefully, right. hopefully with James Gunn's, uh, this sort of new direction, it, 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 if he goes, hey, we, we're not able, really able to do a Batman Beyond live action movie, maybe for another 10, 20 years, mm -hmm. like it's just not in the plan, great, then Greenlight it is animated. Yeah. Like hopefully with, with his sort of DCU plan, there'll be room for something like that. But... Again, just going back to that initial pitch of Batman Beyond, I'm like, it's a, it should be the Bruce Wayne, not yeah. just a new yeah. Bruce Wayne. I want it to be the guy. Yeah, you know. But then again, part of the appeal of Miles Morales is that he lived in a world where like Peter Parker died. Yeah. Right? Right. When we got the Miles Morales story in a movie, it wasn't like Peter Parker, or Tom Holland. It wasn't Peter Parker, or Andrew Garfield. It was just yeah. a new Peter Parker, Chris yeah. Pine, and then he died. And yeah. the, so the story still worked. I'm sure that a, for like a fresh, brand new Batman Beyond would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it does, it does. It feels like a no-brainer, doesn't <laughs> yeah, it? Absolutely. To take the 100%. success and the visual success of Spider Verse and go, yeah. what do we have at DC that looks fucking sick? Mm -hmm. And oh, <laughs> Batman Beyond. Duh. 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 Dude, it's Blade it's Runner right meets Spider Verse. It's written right there. Leon's Please. saying, with the amount of media we have on Kevin Conroy's voice as Batman, how would you feel uh, about AI taking over and keeping him only as if Batman Kevin forever? Conroy was okay with it? Only well, that's if, a good he, point. if he that's if, a good if point. It, it is his voice, and he should decide whether it continues or not. If yeah. he said it could, let it continue. If he didn't, and, it's done. And I'll say there's a difference between because I think that the, that the Batman work he did is also done. Meaning yeah, the DC right. animated universe is done. 
Yeah. Meaning, I mean, sure, they could always revisit it and do new stuff for it. But if this argument, even the video this, game, just recently, it's I done. Think. Yeah. yeah, like the Arkhamverse or whatever. Like the stuff that he did, sort of like had projects that were the ending of that uh, franchise. Mm -hmm. If we convert this conversation to like James Earl Jones, Darth Vader, right? I will have a different opinion because I'm like, well, Star Wars, they're going to keep going for forever, mm -hmm. and um, if the same scenario happens where the James Earl Jones estate or family approves and so does james and he gets money and the family gets money and if james Earl jones passes away and i don't know how many years the family will continue to sort of like ben benefit from from an ai exactly. that is using his mm -hmm. original performance and mm -hmm. his sort of voice i am okay with it only if it's like, but you're, but Star Wars also needs to continue to bring in new talent, right? Mm -hmm. New actors right. and give them yeah, new like, opportunities. I just don't think that you can. I mean, and, but I don't, I don't want. I don't really want yeah. that for Kevin Conroy. Yeah. E like even if the, if I'll give you another thing too. Is that Kevin Conroy was just such a brilliant voice actor that I feel like the voice actor community would be like, don't do that. Like to honor Kevin, like thing. bring in another actor to play. Yeah. This is why you know? I, I give it to the actor. It's yeah. that actor's voice. It doesn't yeah. matter what we think. It's true. Our emotions don't matter. It's if true. Kevin Conroy said, hey, guys, I want you to keep enjoying. If he yep. wrote it down and said, I want the fans to keep enjoying my voice mm -hmm. in the future mm -hmm. in AI format. With technology. Keep yeah. it going. Yeah. Fine. That's all the blessing I need. That's yeah. all yeah. the blessing I need to say. I'm okay with this. Right. Because Kevin Conroy right. said it was okay. Like, this is a good point. So the double take brings up, not to keep bringing up Willow, but did Val Kilmer give us permission to help with the voice? I think he did. Yes, because his, his son does right? the voice. Yeah. Right, right. So that, exactly. That sort of way of like, you know, and that story was pretty dependent on Mad Mardigan. Yeah. Like, Mad Mardigan was factored into that story. Right. Is there a future Star Wars story that will need to have Darth Vader? I don't think so. Like yeah, I don't know. We, if I don't think there needs to be a Darth Vader movie. <laughs> right. right, and right. even if something like Justice League, the animated series, were to come back with all the other original voice actors, George Newbern and Susan Eisenberg, and all these people, you know, Carl Lumbly, all these people that I adore, and there's a gap because there's no Bruce Wayne because Kevin has passed away. Right. Even there, I'm like, can you find a voice match or you know some like there's there's ways around it or you yeah. can just do Justice League without a Batman. He doesn't have to be in every single story. Like right. I don't know. like I said, yeah. always gonna go back to yeah. the actor. That's right. it. It's not it's our point. voice, and we don't have any say into where it and it should be used. And, yeah. and if we're being honest, like Kevin Conroy is like the definitive Batman. Yeah. 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 But yeah. also, there have been a lot of other voice actors that who have already that, done Batman. That do great. That My we'll favorite Batman. Batman is Batman D Brave and the Bold. Diedrich Bader. Diedrich Bader. Mm. So funny. Like, Kevin Conroy is the definitive Batman, but my favorite Batman mm. is Diedrich Bader. Mm. Tanner just said, 100%. just order the Indiana Jones 4K set. That's what you got right there. Yeah, yeah, I show, got it right brother. there on my shelf. Boom. How brother, did you know, Tanner? I got, um, okay, we got... Oh, yeah, no, go ahead. One, one more chat. Because it's going. already 7.55. Keep Where going. The time I feel like go? we've been live for like 20 minutes. I know. I know. It's going so fast. Okay. Uh, Jada with the $50. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jada. Hey, fellas. Currently stuck at home with the flu. So sorry. Oh, I hope you get better. Sorry. This stream is one of the highlights of my week. Have you read any of the Weatherman comics? Also, mm -hmm. are you looking forward to the upcoming Spider Punk race arm uh, Spider Punk Arms Race series comic? I, I don't I, think I I've heard ever of that, heard of that. But I'm excited about no it. Clue. You know what? Today is New Comic Book Day. I yeah. went and got a new comic book. What'd you get? The Weatherman? I'm so excited. No, I haven't heard about that. Send me the link. Find me on the yeah. Instagram or I whatever. I don't think we know about any, either of these. Yeah. I went to the comic book store today because I learned that they were putting out a new comic called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Sourcebook. Mm. Oh, interesting. It's interesting. like an encyclopedia okay. for the TMNT comic series that's been going on since 2011. Okay. And I picked that bad boy up. It's a little thick, little floppy yeah. comic book. Yeah. Ooh, it's good. Hector it's, likes them thick it's, floppies. It's kind of summing up the entire series <laughs> up to this point because they're going to relaunch yeah. with a new number one yes. soon if they haven't already. But it's not a reboot. It's a still it's still a, a continuation, continuation of okay. and those comics mm -hmm. are dope, dude. Yeah. The 2011 yeah. Turtles comics. They've been doing a really good job really with the Turtles job. comics. So I haven't kept up that. on the majority of those, yeah, but yeah, I yeah. do me know either. that the Turtle community has loved them. Yeah, and it makes me feel bad that I have not read them. So I, okay. need, mm -hmm. I need to do hey, a deep hey, dive. Don't feel bad. Something to look forward to. I need to collect it just like my entire Invincible yeah, collection yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I think that's a good one. But thank you so much for the question. Official handbook of. 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, that's official. what that stands official. for. Right there, right there, right there. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Leon, uh, 50 pesos from Mexico. Thank you so <gasps> much. Thanks. Hey, are you coming to Comic-Con XP in Mexico City in May? Oh. Wow, that'd be fun. That would be awesome. Be so What's the fun? spiel that you always give about us going to comic conventions? Let them know. Tell them. <laughs> Tell them to let us have them reach videos. out to us. Ask but anyway, it continues. Says, oh, sorry. Meeting, <laughs> meeting mm. you would be like meeting my longtime Xbox Live friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Come hang out with your paisanos. Uh, I would a, love to. That's an We've, incredibly nice compliment. Yeah, yeah that <laughs> is. very nice. We, yeah. have, we have talked about it. So We would love to go to any con. Mm-hmm. The, the problem is, mm-hmm. it's not really a problem because no one's forcing us to. But, right, right. You know, just going to Comic-Con... And it's one city away, one major city away, two technically, is already kind of an expense. So yeah. if we mm-hmm. fly internationally or if right. we fly across the United States, it's a big expense. Mm-hmm. It's airfare, it's hotels, it's yeah. transportation, it's yeah. food. It's it's a really big budget. Yeah. It's that, massive. We, that we have to like set aside for those so sorts of things. Unless they're footing the bill for it, it's really yeah, difficult for us to but get out there. But of course, yeah, if a con, if a con reaches out and says like, "Hey, we've heard a lot of requests for you guys. Mm-hmm. We would love to have mm-hmm. you as guests. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would you be willing to come down? We cover your airfare and your hotel to like do a pay- oh, like we're we don't, there. We yeah. won't go we're to there. just like walk around. Yeah. Like we're happy to like host something, oh, be on yeah. a panel, yeah. put panels to get like, mm-hmm. whatever it is. Yeah. We um, can we can moderate panels yeah, for those absolutely. folks. So so let any convention local con yeah. or anybody f- like shit fig- if you're in australia we'll go <laughs> yeah figure out their info <laughs> Look, we can say, we can say <laughs> are you cooking there you, I'll go. Stay. you cooking I, he's I like in that. the FA. he doesn't have to cook there's there so many like that. so many good food places yeah, there you go. he's true. in mexico Around. city there's just always someone in the kitchen cooking. yeah just <laughs> cooking at his <laughs> house just, hey. 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 yeah all keep, right, keep uh, next one. Uh, Lena, Lena's back in the chat. Thank you, Lena. Hi, Lena. Uh, Lena Robbins Music. Uh, watched Dune for the first time last night, and I'm obsessed. Oh, cool. That's it. That's cool. all we want. Can't wait for part two. Also, I watched it on 4K Blu-ray oh. <laughs> because I'm getting back into physical Jesus media. Rice. Again, That's because of my sweet heroes reforged boys say so. Oh. Uh. Listen, we're all going through this revolution right now. Yeah. I feel like everybody's getting in touch with, like, the old ways of doing things, and yeah. it's because streaming services drop the fucking ball, yeah. and we have to take everything back into our own hands. Yeah, absolutely, it's the revolution right now, and especially a movie like Dune, which, like, yeah. my only negative about the Blu-ray is it doesn't have any of the IMAX right. shots, I know. sure, I yeah. know. expanded shots, yeah. but 4K, Why didn't they Dolby Vision, the Dolby Atmos, like it, it, like it's amazing it looks yeah. really really good yeah uh it's probably like one of the better blu-rays that i own ryan you can't just put that in the fucking chat and not have me be distracted <laughs> where text me a link something jesus yeah send a, a, adam a the photo link photo from please. the superman legacy table read just dropped and has the kingdom come logo interesting oh. ryan, I might, you're confused. I might kingdom come i don't superman know superman <laughs> legacy isn't the movie kingdom come ryan <laughs> you're confused bud <laughs> i don't um, know um, anyway, like, like Ryan, it has this. Look speaking at, look of at, Ryan, look at, no, we, Adam, just be on the internet. Go ahead. Speaking of go, Ryan, go he also dropped it. a two ninety nine super chat. He said, "Image search drop bears visit Australia nice. when drop bears." Uh, do you want uh, us to image search drop bears? You know, you just sent Adam on a wild <laughs> yeah. geese chase. Come on, you flemwad. <laughs> He's just fucking with you, dude. You son uh, of a bitch. I hate yeah. you. Yeah, it's fake. Anyway, it's fake. Anyways, wow. Um, yeah, wow. I mean, I would you love could say anything about Superman Legacy right now, and it yeah. would shatter yeah. Adam's heart. <laughs> Stop. Look, you know where you should look? Just in on my ass. James Gunn's threads, because uh, that's like the official news. Uh, yeah. Of it. If threads it's not on Instagram, if it's not on James Gunn's you. thread, then it's <laughs> if not. It's, if, Ryan, if this is not from James Gunn, it's I will kill you. It's just a gif of Ryan going like this yeah. to you. <laughs> that's what he texted oh. you. Idiot. Oh. Ooh. What do we have? Yeah. Idiot. Oh. It's fake. Oh. It's fake? it's an AI generated image. Oh. Mm, weird. Oh, oh did uh, oh, wow. did the actress oh. who plays Hawk Girl post that? And now she's gonna yeah. get in trouble. I know, right? You, you just did Madam Web. <laughs> you just did Madam Web. You can't do that. Well, here's the thing. Yeah. You think of the name of the movie Superman Legacy. Yeah. Sure. I to me when I when he announced that movie, mm-hmm. I was like. Well then, there already must be a rich history of like what Superman has done in the world. Yeah, potentially. So, because we we know it's not an origin story, James Gunn has already said that. Yeah. So I, this is like a super like ballpark thing, but yeah, I had this thought of like, what if we start the movie and he's dead, 
And it's about Sounds Superman. Sounds real Zack Snyder. I don't like it. I don't like it. I know, but I was I like, like, I mean, it. it's not impossible. I don't like it. But you it know, Kingdom impossible. Come opens, Superman, opens up a lot. Superman of, never dies. It yeah. is impossible. He never dies. That opens up a lot of uh, possibilities. We have one more from the old stream. Oh, great. Jake, five dollars. Hey, hope is well. Thanks for all the great work. Unrelated. Batcher is an S tier character. Where's Batcher from? Badger. Batcher. 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 Yeah, it's Batcher. Spell it. B a t c h e r. Batcher is an S T character. Maybe it goes with this. Looking forward to the dad batch in season, oh. season three reactions. Oh. Okay. Okay. Batch. Batcher. Is there a character named Batcher in the I don't in think so. Bad no. Batch? Do they just mean no. all every character in the Bad Batch? All, yeah. They're all the S-tier bad characters. <laughs> I guess. They're the Bad Batches. <laughs> if can, here's the th- you know what's fun? If we did like a Star Wars main characters. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm just fucking out <laughs> of if touch, we did like, I guess. Can you imagine how fun that would be? A Star Wars main character tier ranking mm-hmm. of like 100 characters oh, man. or something. Oh. So the main characters from the honestly from the Bad Batch, from the Bad. Ba- I, what are you talking about? I'll put it all together. Why are you stressed? Why are you stressed? What are you stressed? Because about? it'd be a four-hour show what because there's four hundred main characters. I Star said a hundred. I said a hundred. We did one hundred ninety-one DC. No, characters. we did. We did. Uh, yeah, we did close to two hundred. Two hundred. Yes. I wouldn't do as many for Star Wars. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sure. You do. You do. Back me up here. Yeah. Sure. You do. Seriously. You don't uh-huh. think I could limit myself at a hundred? That basically be. Break it down. Uh, there basically uh, be characters from the first two movies. <laughs> no, it, it would be it would be around what three characters from each project. Yeah, like like how That's many how many still. Star Wars movies and TV shows? That's a lot. There's a ton. Yeah. So well, take, there's uh, I think you know, there's twelve movies and four shows. Right. Come so on. maybe like three to five characters from each one of those projects. <laughs> hey, would Salacious Crumb like, is S tier. Get out of here. Salacious Crumb. But a bunch of characters Get from the Bad here. Batch, I would put them at S tier. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. I really of course. would, dude. Yeah. Of course. I really would. I love oh, those yeah. characters. Absolutely. Me too. That's Wrecker? So, that'd be fun. I've already heard. I haven't seen anything. But, do oh, it. But I've heard Tim from, in the chat says, do it. Do it. Yeah. I've heard from some. Uh, I think it was Star Wars Explained. They were saying like it has. It still has those like. And or vibes that we were awesome. vibing with last yeah. season. Yeah. You know what? I like what Felicia says. That could be a May the Fourth episode. Ooh, Maybe. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. Ooh, a little that's Star Wars, yeah. or a little Star Wars celebration. Yeah. I think, better find uh, a way to incorporate Glup Shitto into there. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I'm pretty sure oh. he's in that one. <laughs> oh, Batcher is a new animal character from this new season of Bad Batch. We oh. haven't seen it yet. We, that's why we I'm said earlier. Confused. Okay, we so I'm not. We old. haven't seen it yet. Why I'm are you not? Spoiling it? Yeah. Why are you spoiling it for us? We said we haven't seen it yet. What are you doing? Why are you gonna? Are you doing? Why are you gonna? Why doesn't? Okay. Baby. All right, Swan we're getting to the next one. Yeah. Somebody tell me a character from Doom Part 2. I haven't <laughs> seen it yet. <laughs> oh, I will not spoil that. Uh, okay, did Senator, we finish, that first, we finish that yeah, first yeah, chat? Yeah, the first one is done. Senator, $2. New stream, new chat. Thank you. Oh, Extra love on. tonight. Hang Fuck on. you, Ryan. This is going crazy. Oh, my Ryan God. Ryan says, uh, costume photo if online. Online. <laughs> <laughs> For Superman. Online. Right now. Online. It's exclusively. Oh, no. Adam. Oh, no. Oh, no. Adam. You gotta stop. Adam, you've got to stop right now. Felicia says, as it's spoilers. Oh no! Oh, Wait, spoilers. What? No. Yeah, don't oh, look at know. it, Adam. Don't look at it. They say it's spoilers. Oh, I want to look at it so the, bad oh, for the I, costume. I, oh, I, I thought they were talking so about Dune spoilers. No. Uh, no. Ryan, text it to me right now. I don't see uh, anything on Threads. Ryan, just text that, Ryan, text that photo to me. Do you have I'll kill you. <laughs> I, don't I know. will <laughs> kill you. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Ryan's Instagram right now. He probably posted it right now. Play along. Oh, you motherfucker! Anyways, oh, next it's, question. It's a fake. He faked it. Uh, <laughs> he faked it. Okay, good. Anyway, good. Uh, Langley with the four wow, nine. Langley. Tri- Langley. I got tri- Langley. What? You're, thank you. Yeah, I, thank I you. agree with what Langley's saying. I ah. think the legacy at question is Supergirl and whether she breaks bad or not. That's okay. going to be the legacy of Superman. Was did Langley have a? Super yes. Ch- okay. He super go ahead. Yeah. Again. Oh, awesome. He said, I'm sick in the hospital. <laughs> Langley, <laughs> I feel bad. Get some rest. I'm sick in the hospital. <laughs> but as always, your channel is a great distraction away from the pain. Been watching for a decade. Thanks, gentlemen. Yeah, Langley. Decade. Yeah, I read that earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Langley. Jeez. Look at all the breaking you. news decade. that's happening. Jared, are you messing with us? Jurassic World 4 officially oh, that delayed. Okay. Whoa. I don't but need to look that up. Anybody <laughs> could say anything to us right now. And we have to be like, what, really? We yeah. have breaking to- news. Exactly. Adam Hodge is directing Dune Messiah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, breaking news: Adam is directing every next movie for the next <laughs> yeah. ten years. Uh, breaking news: Adam Havik has a poopy diaper. Jeez. Okay, uh, we're going to Jordan Rothmeyer, four ninety nine. Thank you so much. Uh, what's up, homies? Huge Dune fan here. Frank Roberts said he wrote Dune Messiah as a response to people not getting that Paul isn't a good person. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, the movie wow. very clearly. Yep. I like hey, that. Whoa, you whoa, on a road. Hey, I like hey. that. A belief. Whoa. I like that. I like okay, that. Okay, okay. 
Good. Mm-hmm. No spoilers, please. He was Ball on Arrakis with my dad when he was researching Spice right before he died. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. nice, nice, nice. Um, okay, so we have Shops VVY. No, it's yeah. Shop Savvy. Oh, oh, Shop Savvy. It's, it's Amy. Oh, oh, it's Amy. Oh, oh hey. Shop Savvy. <laughs> Hi, Shop Savvy. <laughs> I think it's Shops VVY. I think it's Shops VVY because that's, that's actually the only way is. that makes sense. Amy, you know, uh, you're, it's Shop not savvy. a license plate. You could have put all the letters, <laughs> but. No, I think it's Shop Savvy. Shop Savvy. Shop Savvy says, says very, taken. very yummy. Shop Savvy says, my mom loves Madam Web. I'm going to have to have a Great. long talk with your mom when probably, I get home. Probably the Spider-Man animated series one, though, right? <laughs> oh, that right? Madam Web. That right? Uh, right? Uh, yeah, uh, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I haven't even taken her to see it. Five minutes into the movie, I texted her and I said, this movie is even oh, worse than I, I thought. You texted us that. You yeah. Like five minutes into I the like movie. I like Kira Rideout's breaking news. Kira Rideout, y'all are adorable. Aww. We tried. That's the best breaking news. Yeah. Aww. That's the only news that Publish that know. everywhere, please. Put it on a shirt. Put it on a shirt. Langley um, said, huge spoiler, they are bad. Yeah. And they are in a batch. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> LMFAO, I <Yeah>. lied. <laughs> That's a Superman Stupid. costume. And then uh, a picture of him flipping you off? Yeah. What? So Who would have thought? Okay, uh, and funny. the last super chat: Hulk smash your mom with two dollars. I don't even know about your personal life. How was Take, it? Let's take her out to dinner first. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see Dune two, Dune part two. Love you, homies. Love you too. Thank you so much. Go That's see the IMAX. last super chat so far. So far, yes. So far. Maybe some more right um, now. No, there aren't any right <laughs> now. But uh, is there? Um, is there anything else you'd like to say about Dune, Adam? Uh, yeah. Watch it if so. Yeah, IMAX, I posted. Big. I said, like, go watch an IMAX if you can. Yeah. yeah. Someone was like, "There's a, it's, it's, it's a hundred miles away." I said, <laughs> "Go, it's worth it. Go." What is that commute? It's worth it. go. What's a hundred miles? An hour and a half? What is that? What's a hundred miles? Hundred miles. It, it, it depends. It depends. Like, if yeah. there's no traffic. In I'm not, LA, I'm not it's walking. four hours. Yeah, in LA, it's it's, it's, four, it's four, four days. Yeah, it's four but days. it's like two hundred miles from here to San Diego. Yeah. So yeah. hundred miles away. It's like an hour and forty-five. Yeah. I'll go. Forty-five. I'll go. I'd go to that. That's worth it. Yeah. Absolutely, it's should, worth you it. You make it. You make a day of it. Yeah. You drive out That's to wherever true. that is. Go to go the little shopping lunch. centers. Go get, get a some popcorn lunch. bucket. Yeah. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Do the Doom do popcorn whatever, bucket. Do whatever you want with it before <laughs> the Doom popcorn uh-huh. bucket. That's yeah. like this. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Very. Get the popcorn just bucket. Not right. Dress in your <laughs> in your best Arrakis attire. Arrakis. Yes. Make a day of it. I think that's the best way to do it. Honestly, Jada says, "Quick, somebody give me ninety nine cent." <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they they want to contribute. They want to super chat us for 99 cents. Oh, uh, that's funny. <laughs> Road trip. Uh, somebody yeah. asked earlier in the chat, I think it was Ragul. Yeah, I don't know. the Avengers title. Yeah, we haven't talked about that. This yeah. is. He, can I also say just something about Uh-oh. this? Like, Uh oh. Go. I, go. I sometimes get frustrated. Uh-huh. We've talked about this before mm-hmm. with like Hollywood Reporter did this whole write up. But they all had confidential sources. Right. But they were As like one does. they were like talking to people at Marvel Studios. Yeah. And then I'm seeing all these tweets because like there was another recent article that just came out where it's like the image is like Reed Richards on the Fantastic Car and Deadpool tweaking it. Right. As though like they're they're changing their plan. Right. And we have all this like insider information about how Marvel Studios is uh, uh, trying to approach this. And <laughs> there's some stuff in there that just feels like, yeah, this feels like you would know this if you kind of were familiar with the comic books. Mm-hmm. Like, they might pivot and do another villain in Secret Wars. And it's like, we've right. been talking about Doctor Doom this entire time. Like, mm-hmm. that sort of thing. And then, then some of the some of the, um, the news that's coming out from some of the, uh, from some of the leakers and what's the, what's the phrase? <laughs> leakers the, just sounds the like they pee everywhere. Leakers, the squeakers, the people who, yeah. the, the scoopers. Yeah. The scoopers. From some of the scoopers. <laughs> yeah. The, the, poopers, the, poopers the poopers and the scoopers. scoopers. Yeah. Where they're like, apparently, according to this scooper, Marvel yeah. Studios is looking to hire a comedic actor for the voice of Herbie. Right. Yeah. And you read that and you go, yeah, yeah. no shit. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Uh, okay. I could scoop you some stuff right now. Like, apparently, Ben Grimm is going to be human in the Fantastic Four movie, but at one point, he Whoa. will pivot to be all CG. Holy Do shit. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, Crazy. Like, I'm like, it just feels like... Scoopers are, they may get some scoops, but they're also like, let me feed him some basic ass shit yeah. that is gonna obviously come well, true. Here's the thing a lot of the people who watch and grew up on the MCU don't read the comics. That's so what I'm saying. Don't, they or don't they, know yeah. nothing. I know, man. <laughs> I know. So nothing. it's like, it's it's, Langley agrees with me that just like, it's the biggest nothing story being used yeah. as a big deal pivot. Yeah. Right. And it's like, well, you know. Yeah, poopers and scoopers. I don't know. So they were. It was reported they were even moving away from uh, from uh, um, King. 
from Kang and from Jonathan right, Majors right. before. Yeah. And now this is like resurfacing again in this article, right. and it's like Avengers might not even be called that now. Right. That's the big breaking news. And it's, it's like, like yeah, yeah no we weren't even talking about that. Yeah. yeah. Either they were going to keep it or it was going to be right. changed to something the, else. I think the reason why that kind of stuff happens is because – those websites know that anything yeah. related to the MCU yeah. will get a click. Right. Yeah. Exactly. It doesn't matter how thing. current, mm-hmm. how old, mm-hmm. how um, probable it is. If they think it'll get a click, yeah. they'll run it. Yeah. Right. Like right. there was, I can't remember what it was, but there was something else related to the MCU that um, that came out a few weeks back, and I saw all these. They weren't even like the big variety THR. Mm-hmm. It was like these Twitter accounts that have really big followings that report on these mm-hmm. sorts of things. And it was basically like breaking news: water's wet. And I'm mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's no news to report right yeah. now. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing. There's nothing. Just yeah. Talk about something else. Yeah, yeah. Talk about yeah. the new fucking Bong Joon Ho movie. Yeah. yeah. Talk about literally anything else. You don't they have to talk about Marvel. They can't because it doesn't get clicks. Right. Here's a That's scoop. The problem. Here's a scoop. Huh. Apparently, Marvel Studios is considering uh, taking Deadpool the character and incorporating him into, into the, the Marvel MCU. Cinematic Universe oh, after this shit. new film, Deadpool and Wolverine. That's oh, a scoop for you. That's shit. a scoop. Oh Let me God. get on Twitter real quick and talk about it. I need quick. to make a graphic quick. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> here's an, oh, here's another scoop. Apparently, huh. either before, during, or after Avengers Secret Wars, uh-huh. Tom Holland Spider-Man may or may not come into contact with the alien black goo that was left at the end of the last Holy film. Shit. And apparently, here's the scoop. Whoa. Apparently, when Whoa. he puts it on, it becomes a new Spider-Man costume. Franchise. Motherfucker, I knew So it. that's a scoop for it. you guys. And that's going to come oh true. Oh, my God. And that's going to come Lord. true because I'm talking to people at Marvel Lord. Studios. <laughs> You're, and you're talking to Stan Lee. You're you're communing with Stan Lee over a Ouija board, <laughs> and I don't know how to use I don't know how to use Wikipedia or no, Google. Not at all. So or read comic books. Yeah. Breaking uh-huh. news: I heard they did surgery on a grape. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, that's, your, that's your scoop for yeah. you. Um, Ryan Unicom donated or <laughs> super chatted two ninety nine. He said, "Donate to his funeral fund." <laughs> he said, "Formal apology." <laughs> uh, yeah, make him very British. British. He's British. Make him very British. I will do better <laughs> in the future. <laughs> and then he said, "Good day." <laughs> Good day to Good you. Oh Good day God. to you, gentlemen. <sighs> Cheerio, pip yeah. uh, uh, Breaking then, news: <laughs> Spider-Man might fight a villain. <laughs> breaking news. Uh, and then Senator, two dollars. What about the Disney? Because you wanted to talk about this too, Adam. Uh, the Disney, oh, yeah. So uh, phys- Disney, Sony, oh, yeah. physical media deal. Yeah. So give this, us your hot this take. This is kind of interesting. So if you don't know, Disney and Sony Entertainment just signed a deal where Sony will be taking over handling all of Disney's physical media production. Mm-hmm. So they'll be pressing, distributing, all that sort of stuff. They basically made a deal that. Sony will get a percentage, obviously, of everything that gets put out. Um, I have mixed feelings on it because I do think Disney has massively dropped the ball on physical media. Mm -hmm. We talk about all the time. Not even, truthfully, not even their 4Ks are that good. Like, they're not that good. They're passable. They're decent. But they're not as good as they could be. Like, last week, I maybe it was last week or in our chat I mentioned, or even on Discord, I think, Avengers Endgame is a three-hour movie. Mm Mm-hmm. Now, you have different disk sizes that you can put the movie on, 66 gigabyte and 100 gigabyte. Shout Factory, when they did remasters of Halloween, 90-minute movies were on 100 gigabyte disks, mm. which means you can put huge bit rates on those disks, which means you have a really, really sharp and clean quality of the oh. film. A three-hour Marvel extravaganza yeah. that has visual effects up the ass was put on, the 60... on a 66 gigabyte disk, which means yeah. that the bit rate levels are going to be a lot mm-hmm. lower, mm-hmm. so the quality isn't going to be as good. Yeah. So uh, my hope, and it kind of sucks because I co- truthfully don't want to rebuy the MCU on 4K, no. but if there are movies that look way better on 4K, then I might replace them. Um, and they've also just dropped the ball on releasing stuff. Like, think about what they acquired. Mm-hmm. Fox, Fox Searchlight. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. They have like the old Touchstone and Miramax movies that they had. Hollywood Pictures. There's yeah, good, so good much question. Stuff. Langley's asking, is Sony any better at it? Their 4K restorations okay. are good. Okay. And I really like this comment from Ryan. Huge for us in Australia. Yeah. Sony Universal have good relationship with yes. Aussie distributor, all interactive. Could see Disney brought back to our shores. Yeah, because, because Disney has pulled a lot of their yeah. physical releases from a lot of territories, Australia yeah. being one of them. Yeah, crazy. And Just because of their spiders. That's the only reason. Yeah. Well, and snakes. Well, and snakes. For and snakes. example, like Ryan, 
you know, loves James Cameron as as so many of us do, uh -huh. in order for him to get those new oh. remasters of the James Cameron movies, I think yeah. all four of them, True Lies, like and... two hundred and fifty dollars or something, wow. like something so ridiculous that, yeah. like, as much as I love physical media. I wouldn't even do it because it's just yeah. so much money. Yeah. So my hope is that because Sony does a really good job with their 4K remasters, yeah. when they really take the time with them, um, like all the ones that, I, that I've owned, including like Black Hawk Down, Mask mm -hmm. of Zorro, they're really good. They're mm -hmm. really, really solid. They put Dolby Vision on there, Atmos, all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been really solid. I've really liked them. So my hope is that Disney doesn't kneecap them and say, mm -hmm. well, you can do them in 4K, but we're going to set the parameters for you for what you can do. Right. Because in the right. back of our mind, we're prioritizing the Apple Vision Pro and right. Disney Plus. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's so exactly we can't why. put the best versions on disc. Mm -hmm. Those have to be for our paying streaming customers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I. Oh, God. It's so stupid. Why hasn't a company or studio that does this stuff? put out a commercial and it's all about the marketing because I feel like maybe it's because they're all eating each other with their different services, like a big studio oh, yeah. like Disney. It's yeah. eating itself Absolutely. because they want to make money in the theaters, but they're also promoting Disney yeah. plus. It's like, don't ever leave your house, stay at home, watch yeah. everything. But yeah. like they could have a commercial. Look where it's, just Pixar in the last four years. I know they could, they could put out a, a, a whole marketing campaign where it's like the best possible way to watch your movies are these 4k discs, 100 gig, the way that we press them, it's got a high bit rate. It's yeah. got all this. They could make themselves look awesome with this physical media thing and convince all movie lovers that it's like worth the investment. This is the last disc you'll ever have to buy. They could do that stuff, but it goes against capitalism. Mm -hmm. That's why they won't do it. Yeah. 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 <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it's frustrating, but we obviously don't know what the deal entails. Mm. And I think the first release that Sony will be handling on behalf of Disney will be the new Omen movie that's coming out. The oh, first Omen. The first Omen. Okay. And that drops theatrically, I think, in next yeah. month. Yeah. And so it probably won't be on disc until sometime in the summer. Yeah. Ashley in the chat says, I'm feeling this, but on vinyls. Being a rookie vinyl enthusiast, living in PH sucks. Philippines. Philippines. Oh, I was going to ask, yeah. what's PH? I'm like, yeah. Philadelphia? <laughs> that's that's like, the same Ashley who's been donating yeah. from oh the my God, pencils from the show. So yeah. yeah. It's interesting. I w I'm curious also about like right. yeah. how available is vinyl around yeah. the world. I mean, and yeah, we, DVDs were just, we were just kind and, of yeah. having this conversation yeah. between doing the podcast and the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, I, I, like, I love vinyl. Like, I think it's such a fun format. Yeah. But I'm also very aware that it is not the best way to experience sound. Right. Mm -hmm. Right, an uncompressed wave file that you, which you'll never probably be able to get from a studio directly, mm -hmm. or from a, um, from a, um, oh my god, producer. No, the people that release albums, a uh, music record label. A record, record label. label. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, See now, okay. I was gonna say I'm studio. the one who always forgets stuff. Now you're <laughs> yeah. forgetting what stuff. What just happened like, in um, Adam's brain like, is yeah. it's 99 percent movies, movies <laughs> yeah. and there's a guy in the back corner going. <laughs> Record label, record label. Music. and it's all these people One like and everything else. Is like, dun, 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 Here's how movies are made. Dun, 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 Smoke, dun, steam, dun, 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 dun. steam started coming out of his ears. This guy, but it's a record label. It's called a record label. Like, my, my, good, my good man. Where do you want me to put all this useless information about the Halloween franchise? Put it there, right in the middle. <laughs> what about the music <laughs> behind the ears? Yeah. Behind the ears. <laughs> <laughs> in the ass. Put that in his butt. <laughs> he doesn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Record label. Well, because sometimes what happens is I'll get a press announcement for a new soundtrack. Like mm -hmm. Jedi uh, Survivor, mm -hmm. they put out the soundtrack on vinyl. Right. But I got a copy of the WAV files. Mm -hmm. So these are these massive uncompressed um, tracks from the album that sound incredible. If you're putting it on vinyl, truthfully, even if you're putting it on a CD, it's mm -hmm. heavily compressed. It's yeah. I don't yeah. want to say heavily. It's compressed. But the right. point about vinyl is not just about that. Right. The point right. is the experience. The, 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 what do we what did we call it? The, the ritual. ritual. The, the ritual, ritual of putting Seriously. the vinyl on. Yeah. It's also when you when That's you, why people are okay with DVDs nowadays. When too. you seriously mm -hmm. become like a Blu-ray enthusiast, 4K enthusiast, or even an audiophile, mm -hmm. you also have the the option to upgrade all of your equipment as well. So yeah. like audio files will have like heavy set record players that sit on these sound isolating pads mm -hmm. and they only buy like the best cables that are worth like a thousand dollars each that yep, go to yep. these very specialized speakers yep. mm -hmm. that are all on their individual platforms. And it's just, yeah. it's huge. So I think, I think there's, 
yes, you want the best sound quality, but for yeah. the layperson, for the normal person, mm-hmm. sure. there's that balance of like, I have regular ass speakers mm-hmm. and I have mm-hmm. a vinyl. What am mm-hmm. I going to get the best bang for my buck for? Yeah, right? exactly. I think the the access and ease of streaming everything, streaming all media, has regressed us a little bit. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I feel it. And I think be, because of this backlash to that, the next couple of years and decades, people are going to start becoming like, well, now I'm a movie file. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm an exactly. audio file. Yeah. I'm a music file. Yeah. Exactly. And they're going to start being like, now I know about uh, high end TVs and right. high end right. Blu ray players yes. and everything that, you it's know. It's not even high end. Yeah. Yeah. Now on all my feeds, I'm starting to get people who are collecting old CRT televisions yes. yeah. totally. because that's what the PS1 plays the best yep. on. I know. That's yep. what Nintendos yep. look the I best know. on. They yep. don't look good on and your des- high-def And they design graphics yeah. to fit with that. So like yeah. Castlevania looks better. It yeah. looks better. It looks more if realistic you see it like, because like, the like, pixels were designed to yes. play not on pixels, right. yes. on like photo yep. cells on, on yeah. a television. If you see exactly. it in HD, you're like, ugh. Yeah, it looks horrible. It's yeah. crazy. And I had never thought about that until... until. Until somebody pointed yeah. that out, like and on I was TikTok like, or something? "That yeah. bloom looks a thousand percent yeah. better when the pixels are soft." Jada says, "I taught my six-year-old nephew how to properly handle DVDs." Yeah, he's, he's yeah. A pro that's editor. amazing. Mm. Proud, mm. proud auntie. That's perfect. So you gotta I, love a six-year-old that's like, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, don't touch the silver part. <laughs> don't touch it. So this will this will very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, we gotta be very this careful. Will, this will squatch. Oh no, this there's a squatch. squatch on here. Oh no. <laughs> I have to what get. Do we do? I gotta get a tia, new copy of the Wiggles. Tia, what do we do, Tia? This is n- boo. This, this is a boo way. <laughs> yeah, I want to yeah. see the Wiggles boo way. So, oh bo- my God. Bean. They never the will waste it on boo way. No. It's ridiculous. It's I want to see the Wiggles on high def 4K, but uh, they never will waste it. It's only <laughs> a DVD. <laughs> it squatches four minutes in. Four minutes in. Squatches. It's skippy. Squatches. Four minutes in. Are you serious uh-huh. right now? Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. That's my favorite song. Uh, Langley's <laughs> asking, "What's your?" Well, first I have to say, uh, Kira was asking me, uh, "Where does the Beetle voice?" Uh, Beetlejuice voice live <laughs> in your brain. Oh, yeah. In my brain full time, baby. That's, it's that's a, he, it's the exactly time. how Beetlejuice lives in the movie. That's <laughs> yeah. exactly he's, where he lives. He's in the that guy brain. telling everybody else what to do. Yeah. Hey, come on, hey, come, come on. on. Halloween, come on. put it right there. Here. Come on, right come there. On. What are you doing? Yeah, he's, right there. He's the leader of yeah, the construction yeah. site. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It's great. Hey, you got a lot of room for Marvel oh. heroes over here, but we got to make room for DC, baby. Come on. And I was, I was, <laughs> nice fucking model. <laughs> I was also, oh. we were also talking about how Kodak is making a new Super 8 camera. <laughs> Super 8 camera. That's $5,000. Each yeah. thing of film yeah, only records cartridge. for like eight minutes. I so badly wanted to buy it because I thought it would be it's such crazy. a fun thing to just go on vacations yeah, and just yeah, record. And yeah. I was like, oh, it'll probably be like 800 bucks. I could yeah. justify that. Five. Thousand oh fucking dollars Wait, for a Super 8 camera. Yes. Christopher Nolan was like, "I'm so excited! I bought one." I'm like, "Yeah, you're a you bazillionaire. Yeah. It. You could buy fifteen thousand wow. of them." Wow. That's crazy. Uh, well, yeah, that's crazy. Jada um, says, "I should have known they bring on the kid voice." Hey, that's what you get <laughs> for, for having a six year old <laughs> nephew. Started it. Hey, you started it. That's exactly what your nephew sounds like. Yeah. Uh, Langley was asking me my thoughts on OLED. Hector actually just drove five thousand miles to get one. Uh, Not just one. Yeah, that's right. the one. one. Yeah. When you're a 3D enthusiast. Yeah. Yeah. Hector found TV. a 65-inch LG OLED TV that is 4K and, and 3D. Passive. And passive. passive 3D. So it's essentially very similar to my TV, mm-hmm. 10 inches bigger. So mm-hmm. now you know Hector's is officially bigger than mine. And uh, what was the other thing? It's an OLED. OLED, yeah. What are OLED. your thoughts on OLED? I think, well, I was telling him, the one thing you have to be careful with older OLEDs is burn-in. Mm-hmm. And this was something that was kind of common on plasma TVs, too. So, if like, let's say you watch the news or some shit. Yeah. Something that has a consistent image for, yeah. for a long for amount hours, of time. For yeah. hours. Yeah, on like, it. if yeah. you just leave something running. Like, I know a lot of people like to play that, like, background stuff on YouTube where it's mm-hmm. just, like, a fire going yeah. or, like, yeah. a background yeah. music. Yeah. If you let that run for hours and hours and hours, it will burn into your set and... Yeah, yeah, it's, re- it's gonna it's go. Not fixable. Yeah. It's, it's not it's not fixable. fixable. No. Yeah. So, three D movie yeah. night. As soon as I set it up, Wes, yeah. it's uh because it didn't come with a stand, so we got to find a yeah. stand. But Wes it's in has actually progress. been to one of your movie absolutely. nights, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. 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 So it's so it's in progress. I'm gonna set it up, and um, it needs a whole. Awesome. New, it's not just a TV setup. It needs well, a whole new. We we're the, we, it's, I was redesigned. like, you gotta get a Blu-ray player now. Yeah. This is this yeah. is step one of the. We're gonna basically try to like the remaster. Re- Jada and... said, "I don't have five thousand anything." <laughs> yeah, I know. That's true. That's true. 
Christopher Nolan over here is talking about. <laughs> I bought oh three. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, oh, my so God. So, anyway, your 3D movie thing needs a whole new <sighs> living room set up for it to display properly. So Yes. And <clears throat> yeah. we're, we're planning to maybe get, like, a new um, – it's always a, a – an ambitious and kind of an annoying project of like, well, we're going to get a new living room, like home media console, whatever, right. the, whatever you call the piece of furniture yeah. that like holds mm. the thing, because I did order some video game stuff that's finally <clears throat> going to come in mm-hmm. after two years or whatever. And I've been telling Abby about it and like drawing little schematics of like, how many things do we need? You know, mm-hmm. we have a PlayStation yeah. four cause that's a 3d Blu-ray player right yeah. now. We have PlayStation five because it's a PlayStation five and it's super cool. And we played some new games on it. Mm-hmm. We've Is also it the got some disc one. It's a disc one. Mm-hmm. I'm no dummy. <laughs> Everything we talk well, about. Well, because you can play yeah. 4K Blu-rays on it is my for, point. For sure. For sure. Mm-hmm. So that's my 4K Just not 3D player. because they're dumb. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only reason the PS4 still exists, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and just figuring out, like, how many things you want set up in that TV thing. So it's yeah. going to take a minute. Yeah. I have $3, says Patrick. <laughs> Patrick Starr. That's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, no one just bought a cinema. He can chill. Yeah, he yeah. Can chill well, out, he's one of thirty-five contributors. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Is there anything that you guys would like to see come up in the physical media <laughs> trend that's happening? Besides, yeah. so besides movies, obviously. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Besides mm-hmm. vinyl. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. Is there anything that you guys would like? Comic book cards. Like uh, mm. Tamagotchis. By the way, yo yos. You know how I know you haven't sold those on eBay yet? You're still here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, yeah, no. As soon uh, as you sell them, I messed up, and there was a, a card convention in Pasadena that oh, I missed. They could have graded them dude. there. But oh. now that I know that it happens It'll in Pasadena, happen it's yeah. I, once I a year. Look out. Yeah, it's a once okay. a year kind of thing. Okay. But sure. it's a convention full of people who collect yes, cards. Yes, yes. So yeah. that's that'll, the that'll best be here place. Before you yeah. know it. That'll be yeah. here before you know That'll be the best place for me to go and grade it. Jared said, I got five cents in the Dream. Let's go, baby. Make that <laughs> um, shit happen. That's the well, best way. A part of me would no. I think one of my answers is going to be video games, right? Because I know you're collecting old me, cartridges. Me and my girlfriend are, are <clears throat> getting old cartridges for this like spiffy Game Boy player that we got yeah. called the Analog Pocket mm-hmm. that actually pl- can play off of those cartridges, mm-hmm. which is mm-hmm. super rad. So I've really enjoyed that, and it makes it all HD and high def and really fun and stuff. And I got this other video game console that's going to be able to do that, but you can also still sort of rip the disc game, like mm-hmm. a PlayStation mm-hmm. One game mm-hmm. starring yeah. Bruce Willis, or whatever, to like Suck on this. to like the whole hard drive yeah. and yeah. kind of keep yeah. a ROM copy file. Of it. It's a like file a, of it. it's like a Plex for video games. It is, yeah. and when you do that, you can still keep the physical disc, but it also means you don't have to run it to play the game. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of a way to sort of keep that a little more intact. Archive yeah. it. Archive it, but you also don't necessarily have to keep the physical if you just have right. the game, and that's kind of all you're concerned about. So mm-hmm. my girlfriend and I have mm-hmm. talked about, like, we want to have a retro game collection, but we're not trying to get... There are, there are retro video game enthusiasts and collectors who specifically set out to be like, I'm going to get every Nintendo 64 game right. ever released. And also all the var- like the variants with the gold things, the different colors, yeah. like all that yeah. stuff. All yeah. the games only released in the UK, only re- yeah. released in Japan. There are people who get like full sets. Yeah. That, ki- that level yeah. of like, that's how I collect uh, retro games. Yeah. I'm not interested in that. Mm-hmm. But my girlfriend and I were like, it would be cool to have like a set of like 10 games we love. Mm-hmm. Even mm-hmm. if we can still rip it to a console, to just kind of still have them, that would right, be cool. Right, so right. that would be my answer. Okay. Uh, that's a good question. I... This is nothing that's really gone out of style, I don't yeah. think, or like it's not like out of the out of reach. But I really do like buying movie posters. <coughs> that's a good one. I, I have a, a I have one. a lot of yeah. them. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I've actually been looking. There's a website that I found that they sell these huge 27 by 40 yeah. like binders. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That have like plastic sheets in them where you can put all your posters in. Because yep. right now they're all rolled up. Mm. And the thing is, like when you leave posters rolled up for that long. It destroys them. It kind of destroys yeah. them, and they stay in that position. Yeah. And if you've rubber banded them, sometimes the rubber band over time it wears out and it yeah. sticks to the sticks to the sheet. It'll yeah, yeah. it'll disintegrate it'll into it. the paper. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. So I really would like to get a better system for all my posters because I worked at a movie theater for six years. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And even since then, you know, like I have, we have friends that work at various different places, and yeah. I've had posters sent to me. Like I have posters for Blue Beetle, The Flash, like oh, yeah. new stuff. Uh, I would love to get posters for Doom Part 2. Um, I would like to store them in a way that they're protected from light, yeah. that they're protected from being destroyed in any way, bent, all that mm-hmm. kind right, of right, shit. Right. Mm-hmm. But I would also like to display them. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's I important. love movie yeah. posters. Like, there's some... I have movie posters from 
The Dark Knight, from the original Star Wars pre- mm-hmm. or the prequel trilogy. I would love to put those up somewhere because I don't give a shit if they have any value. They mean something yeah. to me. Right. right. And I think mm-hmm. that's what's important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think whatever you're collecting, as long as it's valuable to you, yeah. that's really that's like, really kind of the big thing. Ahmad just asked Dave Batista if he's into anything. He was like, lunch did you boxes. Did you hear that? Oh, I've known about that. Oh, uh, yeah. the lunch I box. Thing. I did not I know that. that. Yeah. But that's cool, that. man. If you eat, awesome. if you have them like in your office, like on a shelf display, yeah, right, awesome. that's right. awesome. Like yeah. if you're really that's why I love buying and owning physical movie movies physically yeah. on disc. Yeah. I love them. And I love the religious experience of going to the shelf. Yep. What do we want to watch tonight? Memento? Mm-hmm. Let me grab that right yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And putting, you know, yeah. it's just like that whole. Well, well, I love that was feeling. concerning. You went like this and that. What's the what's the <laughs> ritual? <laughs> Whoa, you're touching the silver side. <laughs> Hector's nephew just said not to do that. Like this? Uh, that would be dangerous. Hector's do that. <laughs> the nephew said that's dangerous. You obviously don't know how to handle a DVD. <laughs> My tia taught me properly. My tia taught uh, me. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, fun. Think, I think that's good. I'm Right now, I'm, I just started my Blu-ray collection, so yeah. I can't... My answer is not anything <clears throat> surprising, but it's what we've been talking about, right. just Blu-rays yep. and, and Yeah, and vinyl. I'm slowly buying yeah. blu- uh, Blu-ray, vinyl. Yeah. Yep. Like, I just bought yep. ACDC for the 50th anniversary cool. is repressing yeah. a bunch of their albums yeah. on gold vinyl. Oh, cool. nice. So yeah, yeah. I, I was kind of bummed. I was like, well, why don't you just make a collector's box set? I don't mm-hmm. want to spend 25 on each of them. Just you make a box set. You might find that through a boutique collector. So yeah, there's true. other people who do pressings yeah. that, oh. that do that. My gold, so I have, I have a couple of, like, golden nuggets that i need to find Mm -hmm. first is one of the pressings of the three lord of the rings soundtracks oh yeah baby Mm. and they each two lp set is going for about five thousand dollars right now because who who, who put them out they they were put out i think it was no i think it was warner brothers but they only put out like a thousand in like 2002 and three and exactly so it's a whole set so two of just one Two disc <clears throat> LP is going for five thousand dollars, which is fucking crazy. <laughs> in my head, I was like, in my head, I was like, maybe for his birthday. Nope. No, no, I know. no, no, that'll all. never happen. I was not also taking notes. I'm like, that'll never all. happen nope. because the, it's impossibly expensive. <laughs> have, have you seen those TikTok videos of some librarian dudes? Like, what's the most expensive book we own? Yeah. Here's all the copies of The Hobbit that we own. Exactly, I've seen oh that guy. Oh my god, yeah, dude. they're yeah. crazy. Yes. They're, they're like, here's like a first edition. First edition from the U.S. Yes, 1937. He has one with Tolkien's like signature in it. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, so there was the, the Howard, the Howard Shore ones that came out, but there's also one that's more attainable is the Samurai Champloo soundtrack. Ooh, oh, but each really? one of those is like almost $300 yeah, each. Damn, Jesus. dude. And Christ. I'm just like, damn, dude. farts, man. Yeah. Like, I have that's crazy expensive. I haven't created a list of my gold nuggets for vinyl. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. my girlfriend also has a, 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 a small-ish set of vinyl mm-hmm. records mm-hmm. that we're getting. Yeah. Because I'm afraid of looking. I'm afraid I'm <laughs> yeah. going to start getting. I'm like, ooh, that sounds cool. <laughs> Once again, I don't have 5,000 yeah, 5, anything 5, in this economy. Thing keeps, Who does? He keeps, keeps popping up. You know what, I'm, yeah. what I've am been on the lookout for? And I haven't been really hunting it. I'm just kind of casually like looking to see if I can find it. Yeah. Is twenty eight days later on Blu ray. Oh, oh, interesting. It's been out of print for a long yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. Oh, I see. And I, okay, I I personally don't unless I'm like wowed by it. Uh, I don't think it will look that good on four K Blu ray. I see because it was shot on HD cam. What yeah. about twenty eight weeks later? That I think is available. I found twenty eight days later. Yeah, how much on Blu ray? Uh, a good quality one is one hundred and thirty five dollars. Oh my god! But Are you serious? A decent version is seventy dollars, so it's expensive. It's how still about, expensive about, no matter what. How about a Blu-ray set that has twenty-eight days and twenty-eight weeks later? It's on, also out of print. I think. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Would that okay? How much is that? Look for that. Uh, it it's right here. There. It's a yeah. hundred dollars. Yeah. I mean, that's fifty bucks a pop. That's fifty. Yeah. That's <laughs> still that expensive. Math. It is, yeah. but it's also yeah. less shelf space. You know what I'm saying? That thin. I you know, gotta have that thin thing. So it does exist. You're just going to... So at yeah. this point, it's like shelling out the money. Yeah, exactly. And this is why collecting gets fucking expensive. Right, yeah. right, right. Because I mean, you're starting to get into that point where it's like very specific yeah. things that you need to find. Like La La Land Records. Yeah. I like... Well, I think we all do to a certain extent. We like collecting m- movie scores on discs. Yes, movie soundtracks. Sure, movie yeah, soundtracks. Yeah, yeah. When I can, um, yeah. Yeah. So... I just got Conan the Barbarian, Conan the Destroyer. On f- yeah. 4K or the No, or the, 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 the soundtracks. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, I just recently bought Hook and The Mask of Zorro remasters Ooh, from nice. La La Land Records. They sound amazing. And then uh, last year, the year before, I had been wanting this for the longest time, and it was so hard to find it, was Batman Forever, the mm. Elliot Goldenthal soundtrack. Yep, mm. yep, yep. And score, yep. it's been out of print for years from La La Land Records. 
Bum, so bum, I, bum, bum, dude, bum, I looked on eBay bum, and bum, somehow there was literally bum, one bum, bum, in bum, Los Angeles yeah. for sale yep. for seventy doll hairs. Whoa! How about that money. Nice. Oh my See? god! Those are the things great. you gotta jump I on. I love it. Those are Jade is gonna be like, once on. again. I don't have seventy <laughs> of anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got Senator says, "Don't tell me nothing about numbers on anything." I know. Four mm-hmm. K collection is coming along. Have been starting three D. Nice. Right. Nice. Nice. Right. Nice. Excellent. Yep. I like that. Langley said, "I was only able to get back into reading comics again because of digital." Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Listen, go to your local library. Right. Oh, I know. They right. most likely they have digital versions of the things you're looking for. Oh, yeah. I know yeah. the LA, On the LA Public yeah, Library, yeah. if for you're sure. anywhere in LA, <laughs> for sure. Hoopla Digital um, has the best collection. They have audiobooks, they have comic books, they mm-hmm. have all kinds of stuff. Here's um, a good question from Ashley. Augustine, yeah. do you have any recommendations for vinyl marketplaces? Because I've only been going through Discogs. In L.A.? I think online, because again, oh, Ashley online. is in the Philippines. Actually, yeah. eBay's been kind of like yeah, my right? saving grace that was right your, now, That's actually. how you got yeah. Batman Forever. Yeah, yeah, eBay's been my saving grace only because there are people who don't live in L.A. or in like a big metropolitan city who right. are willing to let go of stuff for cheaper. Yeah. Just yes. like I, f- I finally found that Presidents of the United States LP for a decent price. Yep. And so I bought it. Yep. And it's great because Thanks, somebody eBay. from the Midwest had it. They're yeah. like, yeah, yeah, I'll let it go nobody for... Nobody cares about this yeah, here. Nobody yeah. likes this band. Get out of well, here. I've been yeah. going to a place called Book Off to look for oh, Blu-rays. That's awesome. true, yeah. And yeah. I'm like, some motherfucker is going to offload their 28 Days Later Blu-ray in there mm-hmm. and not even know. Also, okay. go to thrift stores. Yes. Thrift yeah. I yeah. find yeah. so yeah. many good things at the thrift okay. stores. Like, <clears> I've been looking for... Okay. Dumb and Dumber for the longest time. Here's the thing. Yeah. The Dumb and Dumber that you can find on Blu-ray and yep. on, all over all <laughs> over uh, Amazon, it's always the unrated yep. extended cut. Yep. I don't want that version. I want the original. I want the Bro. original with the yellow cover with Harry and Lloyd pulling each other's Theatrical hair. Theatrical cut. That's Theatrical only cut, DVD. DV, and that's it's only, only on DVD. DVD. Yeah. And so that's yeah, I actually found it at the thrift store the other day for two ninety nine. There you go. It was awesome. Yeah. So thrift stores, Goodwills, <laughs> all of that stuff. That's also where I recommend going because you can find some really good stuff. Yeah. Uh, and also in the vinyl game, you'll find a lot of the quote unquote essentials that people are looking for, like yeah. old jazz records and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because they were so popular back in the they day. They made a ton. They made a ton. Yep. Like yeah. my, one of my favorite older artists, he's not even that old, but it's Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass Band. <laughs> love, love everything he did with that band. <laughs> exactly. And he, um, you know, there's a billion of his records out there and I keep finding Wait, them in like dollar bins. I'm wrong. I was just doing the theme song to the Angry Beavers. That's what I was doing. <laughs> It sounds <laughs> <laughs> sound exactly like everything he's done, so it's fine. Um, anyways. How does that, that one uh, famous uh, Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass song go? It's the Spanish Flea one that Homer sings. Yeah, I have a go? little Spanish Flea. Yeah. A record star, he truly be. This is inside of our brains. Yeah. Whereas Adam is like, hey, come on, man. Come yeah. on. Quit yeah. your move it along, move it along. Everybody needs to shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were talking about 4K here. We're what are we talking doing? about Blu-rays. Come on. What are we pivoting? Come on. Come on. Come on. Stay on track. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's been an hour and a half. My ears are burning. Yeah, I think we do. We go through all the super yeah, chats. Yeah, it's all the super chats. Wow. Are done. Yeah. Okay, oh, we're gonna wow. li- we're gonna slowly say good night, and if anybody else squeezes <laughs> we, one in there, they we get haven't it, but had we're a super say, chat in like a half hour. We're gonna ago. say good night. We're good to go. That's we're gonna Hector's, say. That's what Hector's about to like. Uh, anyone s- never mind. Yeah, squeezes yeah, what? Yeah. Squirts yeah. one in there really last second. <laughs> yeah, slides into <laughs> home. Just really quick, you slide in there. You can do it, but for, uh, otherwise, we are going to uh, now. Yeah. Uh, final say thoughts on Dune Part Two. Yeah. Go watch it. I yeah, can't watch do the it. first one do first. Just, yes. Do watch it. the first one first. That's great yeah. advice. That's great advice. Uh, if you um, don't own a Blu-ray player and you don't own a Blu-ray, watch an HBO it? Max. For sure. It's okay. Yeah. For sure. Um, and if you don't I would pay actually... HBO Max, pirate that shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or go to your local library. Yeah. Go they probably to your have local it. library. They probably yeah. have it. Support your local library. Yeah. Um, yeah. What else? Uh, Physical yeah. media all day, every day. Oh, absolutely. To, to quote, to quote uh, Denis Villeneuve, mm-hmm. long live cinema. Wow, that's God, I love hearing him. That's talk. a good way to close. Yeah. I great. love, I love listening to great way, talk. great way to close <laughs> the it show. out, <laughs> guys. Let's talk as, as slowly we'll as possible. <laughs> okay, bye, everybody. Lucas, bye. cut it off, Lucas. Cut it off, Lucas.